Take it easy, go slow, bud. I don't know, Aquila, he knows a lot of things. He doesn't know go slow. Um, well, uh, how do you, how do you uh, win a fight with a fighter without fighting? Alma Farag was talking about a bunch of things today. And uh, hi, Alma Farag. I really like your style about adding in video clips while you're talking. It reminds me of what I like about my nature hikes and that you get distracted. Um, your attention goes away for a moment. Whoop. And then when it comes back, um, your mind might come back to a different spot, or it might see things from a different perspective, or you might pick up uh, a different, uh, from a different area of thought than you were, and you know, you'll add to it due to that distraction. So I quite liked it. And so I started thinking about uh, anger and understanding, um, and typically the more I understand about why someone's angry actually, um, most often, actually, I get uh, angrier. Um, if I don't understand, uh, I'm very li unlikely to have a kind of an anger reaction to it, which leads me to b uh, get to where, uh, how do you fight with somebody? Uh, how do you fight with a fighter and, uh, and win without fighting? Because I, uh, I started working with this guy uh, a while back. I don't work with him anymore. Um, and he was terribly unpleasant. He was rude, uh, disrespectful, um, kind of conniving in a way in that uh, he would uh, he would arrange not to help me. And uh, sometimes it would almost be. Uh, it eventually got to be it was so purposeful. I just I wanted to say like, it's okay, man. You don't. <laughs> I get that you're not helping me. You don't need to. You know, we don't need to wave flags. I mean, that was a thing. It's like, he wanted to fight with me, and I appeared to be completely unaware of it. I, of course, was keenly aware of it. Didn't understand it. Um, and so I ignored it. And if I'd, you know, if, if the idea is that I had just started working with him, too. So, we didn't know one another. So, it wasn't where I could say, you know, something has changed. So, I could say, hey, man, I, I noticed that we're not... We're not working together as well as we used to. I was wondering if there's anything that uh, we could talk about or do differently so that our, our work environment will be better. No, it was, it was terrible right from the get-go. And so I was just like, all right, well. And so I, I, never, I never rose to any of his insults. I never uh, gave, expressed any kind of uh, feelings about uh, how he treated me at work or how he didn't help out or how... Uh, Sometimes he'd try to make things worse. Every time he was around, I just kind of pretended like it was like one, it was like one less person, actually, uh, at my workplace. Like, he, he was a minus. Um, so if I, you know, if I needed help, I didn't have four people to help me. I had three people to help me. And I just treated it as such. I just kind of factored him in. And uh, actually, at one point in time, we met uh, socially. Um... And I could tell he was, like, deeply upset about this. Because um, as I, I, I joined him at his dinner table with a bunch of other people, um, and I, I realized that, like, you know, we can't sit next to each other. This guy has been treating me terribly for a long time. So I sat down, I, uh, I briefly uh, uh, greeted and talked with everybody. He actually got up to go get water or something like that, kind of walk around a little bit. And uh, by the time he came back, uh, I, you know, this is not like I'm ignoring him. I said, uh, all right, well, you guys have a good meal, and um, I'll see, see you later. And I, and I left. And I left out of, like, respect for making him uncomfortable. Like, I don't want to get, I'll, I'll be, what, what would happen is I'd get along really well with everybody there. Uh, his girlfriend was there, and she was really nice, and uh, we'd be talking, and uh, then what will come up is with, oh, how, how, do you, have you guys ever done anything socially together? Do you guys, I know you both do this, to, you guys should do it together, you know, like, there, there'd be this weird kind of thing of like, no, we can't actually do things together, because he hates me. Why is that? He doesn't even know me. Um, and later, actually, he ended up, uh, going to work somewhere else, and, uh, 
in a kind of a roundabout way, uh, he gave me some pretty, uh, some pretty mad props about acknowledging his own behavior and comparing my response to his behavior uh, to the Dalai Lama, which showed a, a keen understanding on his uh, uh, perception of me and, and a great way to compliment me. <laughs> so yeah, I, I feel I won that fight uh, without fighting. And uh, I don't know, I think that the best, the best I, I hoped for in that situation was for me not to make it worse. Um, I had no idea he was ever going to, I don't know, kind of own up to his, I guess maybe he had a need for an enemy and he just chose me. And uh, I guess in a way he chose well because uh, I didn't, I wasn't going to help him make his life any more miserable than it was. And I didn't really understand it, I don't, still don't, um, so it doesn't make me angry. All right, peace out and peace in.